Hello, this is uh, Nifty, and I am answering a question I got on Tumblr. Um, the question was how do I um, put together like the episodes and my really long animation stuff. Um, sorry for my voice, I'm just getting over cold. And I did a video because why not? <laughs> Even though I'm cold. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, so I put all of my episodes together in a external program. I don't put them all together in Flash. Um, at the moment I'm using Premiere Pro, but I used to use Sony Vegas. So let's open up this project where the fourth apprentice first episode is somewhere. Here it is, I think. <clears throat> oh, um, I don't know what all this is. <laughs> uh, hold on one second. I'm just gonna, uh, locate these, and, um, while it's doing that, I'm gonna talk. So, I already posted a video on how I do, like, the individual scene shots, and if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link up to that video right now on the screen, hopefully, as long as I'm not lazy. And, okay, how do I, do I just click all of them? I'm sorry, I'm... Can I click more than one? Okay, whatever. Um, so... Okay, here it is. And you're gonna hear... <laughs> um, you're gonna hear voices. This is the episode, and I don't know how much you can see of this. But, oh man, I don't know how to really use Premiere Pro. I've only used it for like a couple of weeks. And I don't really do a lot in the editing program except for like stitch together the stuff. But each of these little ones are little scenes that you'll see. Um, hold on, let me mute this so that it doesn't get in the way of me talking. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible. This is a terrible video already. Okay, so yeah, all of these are like different scenes and I just kind of stitched them together. And... Because Flash ends up like really lagging and Flash hates me, so I can't really do very long video, like, videos in it. I try to keep my videos under like, under 30 seconds at least on Flash because then it starts to really act up. So, this first one is basically, that's the, um, video and then all these down here are the audio. I always have a lot more audio tracks than video tracks. Um, I export it without the audio, well actually I export it with the audio, but I just mute the audio that was exported from the video with Flash and I'll replace it with like a pure audio file in the program so that it keeps the best quality for the video, for the um, voices because that was a problem in my earlier videos. I didn't really know how to export audio very well, so it's very hard to hear it. And I'm not very good at audio mixing, actually. I have someone else do music for the episode and someone else does sound effects. Because I suck at it and I... Oh man, it's so much better when someone else does it. <laughs> but yeah, so all of the audio will be layered. Like, hold on. Let me get the cut music, which is right here. Let me just stick that on there um but yeah now it's um oops, actually that's wrong um i actually want that like i said i'm so terrible at this can i add another one how do i add one <laughs> oh man i shouldn't be okay here we go add tracks <laughs> Um, I'm gonna add one more audio track. There we go. And I'm just gonna stick that audio right there. And yeah, now I have the music too. Which also has the um, voice voices on the audio track because the person, um, his name is Bray. And I will maybe link him like in on the video because I really like his stuff and he has a SoundCloud. I'll probably link to his SoundCloud. He does some really nice stuff. Uh, promote that man. 
and anyway he does my music and so he already has like the music done right here and that's like the final one without the sound effects because the sound effects aren't done yet so um that's how that happens and then when I export a lot of people like ask me how I export my videos and stuff because it is like really hard to export um, in Premiere all I do is go up here and I go export media and I get the screen and I make sure to select the whole like I control a everything and then I go down here to basic video settings and I'll match the source because one of the things like when you get ghost frames it's because your frame rate in your exporting like in the um, your video editing program isn't ma doesn't match the frame rate that you animated it on if you're using like Flash or Toon Boom and match source automatically figures out what you uh, FPS what your FPS is but make sure that your frame rate's the same otherwise you'll get that ghost unless you want that ghost so my frame rate's 12 and then the um and then I'll just up the quality all the way to 100 because why not and then that's the whole video right there oh and um well, I, it's not the whole video, but it's part of the video, and, and that's how I do it. It's pretty simple, and I really think that hopefully this helps you. I'll try to make more videos like this. So, yeah, good luck, animating cats. Woohoo!